So here are some quick tips that other videos do not have on how to whistle loudly without your hands. Just do it like that. No, I'm doing this in one take, so um, whatever happens, happens. If you haven't checked out other videos online, go ahead and do that, because they'll kind of like show you up close, and I think some of them have some pretty good advice. There's a guy with a missing tooth, he has like an Australian accent or New Zealand or something. He probably has some of the more accurate information. However, the tips I'm going to be giving you have been uh, from my own experience. It took me two years to figure out how to do this. With these tips, you can do it a lot sooner than that, because I didn't have anyone teach me. These tips are not found on other videos. Um, they're all my own, copyrighted. I don't know what I'm saying. Let's just, okay, ready? So here's um, the first tip is make an F shape with your lip. So what I mean by that is if you're saying the letter F. Easy. Now try to control the airflow to where you feel the air more towards the center of your lip rather than just like everywhere. So like you're like you're giving like a really pointed word like like uh, you know so if you're, to, if you're at a drop anyways one take let's get going so the second tip is you're making a th sound with your tongue and your and and where it is in relation to your teeth that's essentially it put them together. You have to move your tongue a little bit. You have to really, the part of your tongue you're moving mainly is the tip. The very, very tip um, angles the air where it's going. You need to go against your teeth, and then there's a little hole between your tongue when you're making that TH sound that allows the air to go down against your lip. So, but but really, it's just a, it's just a TH. And then you're really controlling that TH to where you feel the air just really hit your front of your teeth, right in the center, rather than just kind of like, if you're just saying a word, you'll feel the air everywhere. You want to feel it right there. Um, this is the third tip that is probably um, the main tip that helped me when I figured this out. <sighs> to get the amount of strength for your tongue, for the tip of your tongue, this is what I started doing. I started making the TH sound, but then I would close my tongue so that no air can get through and then keep blowing so you, you try to keep the air in if air is going to escape and you actually do want it to escape you want to eventually blow hard enough to where air leaves you want to let that air escape from the tip of your tongue um do that with having your lip in the f sound And then once you hear a little bit of a whistle, you're on the right track. Keep practicing like that. When I first started, when I, the very first time I started being able to whistle like that, I can feel my tongue, the very tip of my tongue, flap like it was a flag in the wind. It was a really weird feeling. That's what you got to strengthen. The more you can keep that still, um, the more you can whistle. Any other advice? Practice a lot because you got to build up the strength. Um, if this is helpful, let me know in the comments because this took me four minutes of my life and I want to know that I helped someone. Any questions, let me know.